Obviously, to, to get into the tournament, that's something that we anticipated would happen if we got the win and, and just didn't know where we'd be going, if we'd move up a slot or not. But uh, it's just wonderful to get into postseason play and, and a real accomplishment for these young men and, and what's happened in the last year. Coach, what does it mean to the program? You guys have obviously been here for, since 2012 uh, to get to this playoff. Talk about all the work that's taken to get to this point. Well, I think that the credit goes to our players and our coaches. You know, having gone from a four win to a six win to a nine win season uh, is hard work and, and I think the kids stayed dedicated and true to the plan and the process and uh, now to, to be able to, to share a conference title a little bit on our south at half and, and to get into the playoffs is a real testament to hard work paying off and that's exciting times. What was it like watching? I mean a few weeks ago it wasn't necessarily certain but you came in this thing knowing pretty much you, you were in. This wasn't like USF a year ago where you're on the bubble. Mm -hmm. It had to be a little easier to watch this time I'm imagining. Yeah, absolutely, and I've, I've been through this before in the selection process as a head coach, but our team hasn't, and that's, that's a, it's a special time, but it's also got some anxiety to it, and when you get the team together like this, knowing that you're going to be somewhere, uh, there's just that, that excitement, not the worry that goes with it, and, uh, and that's, that's a special memory that these guys will hold for the rest of their lives. You mentioned how this team has kind of progressed through the, the last three years. Obviously, Trey has uh, really stepped his game up in that time. Talk about his play this year. Well, this Saturday was a prime example. Uh, you know, that's that's no easy feat to, to have that many yards in the game. But more importantly, is, is Trey's leadership. Uh, he really has grown up as a player, and I've been saying this since fall camp. Uh, he's been a student of the game. He masters our offense, and when he needs to improvise, he does so in a pretty exceptional fashion. So. Uh, I just think he's really a tough matchup for some people. And yes, he makes some mistakes just like a lot of other quarterbacks, but when, when he plays to his top of his game, he's a, he's a difficult player to defend. You've kind of been eyeing this team. I think you mentioned something about them being two and you being seven at one point. I mean, you kind of had, I know they, they've obviously lost somewhere along the way, but have you kind of been keeping a tab on this team? Well, the first, the first regional ranking that came out, we were seven and they were two. So uh, I, I just took some looks at it. And I coached out in California, so I'm a little bit aware of what Humboldt's about uh, from my past. and uh, But th that was three weeks ago, and all of a sudden everything changes. So uh, we're going to have to do our homework. we got to get film exchange done tonight. Our coaches won't be sleeping for two days, uh, breaking down what normally half of it's done already, uh, and then travel plans and all that other stuff. So we're just going to take it one day at a time and one minute at a time to make sure the process is right. And, and I'm sure Humboldt's going to have to do the same thing preparing for us. Coach, how much of the message is just let's do what we do and control our end of it? How much is that the message to the team or maybe not? That is the message. That's who we've been this season. Uh, and we really truly feel like the opportunities that we slipped this year, it was, it was on ourselves that Augustana beat Augustana. So uh, I think when we're playing our kind of football, we're, we're a good football team. We're a sound football team. Uh, and that's just who we got to be. We got to worry about what we do and be our best. Don't worry about someone else's. Like I told the players, you know, we don't have to be the na national champion Saturday. We got to be better than humble.